It's time for spelling analysis, and today we get to use our new phonogram, g gua. The other thing we will hear in today's list is a lot of schwa sounds. What sound is a vowel say when it says schwa? That's right, it sounds like uh. So we will be saying to spell those vowels so that we understand how to write them really clearly. It's also a really good way to help us remember how these words are spelled. So be listening for schwa vowels or lazy vowels. All right, the first word is about. That book is about a hero, about. Go ahead and say about. Do you hear a schwa sound? Uh, about. So do I. How many syllables in about? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell a bout. Do you got it? A bout. The first syllable is a. A. The second syllable is bout. B ow. Use an ow, o, u, a, u. T. Got it? Go ahead and write a bout. I love how you're sounding it out. Okay, it's my turn to write it. The first syllable is a, a. The second syllable is bout. B, ow, t. All right, did you write an A here? Very good. How will we mark it? We'll put a line over it. Why? A, E, O, U usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. And we'll underline the ow. Did you use the right kind of ow? What sound of ow, o, u, a, u is this? You're right, it's the first sound. Now, let's read it. A, b, out, about. And what do we say? About. Remember, any vowel can say one of its schwa sounds. Uh. So, any vowel can be lazy. The next word is guide. I will have a wilderness guide guide me through this park. Guide. Go ahead and say guide. Guide. Let's sound it out. G. Do you see that kind of g? I, d, silent final e. Go ahead and write guide. All right, help me to write it. G, I, d, silent final e. All right, how will we mark it? We'll underline the g. And what about the I? We'll put a line over it because it's saying it's long sound and we'll double underline the silent final E. Now, why do we have a silent final E in guide? You're right, the vowel says it's long sound because of the E. Let's sound this out. G -I -D, guide. This is a pretty cool word and it's really neat that you know how it's spelled and why it's spelled that way. The next word is above. The picture is above the lamp. Above. How many syllables in above? Hmm, hmm, two. And do you hear a schwa vowel in above? Above, maybe even two of them. Well, you will say to spell a bov. What will you say to spell? A bov. Very good. Let's sound it out. First syllable is a. Second syllable is bav, b, a, v. What do you need? Silent final e. I knew you heard it. All right, go ahead and write it. A, bav. All right, help me to write it. The first syllable is a. The second syllable is bav, b, a, v. Silent final e. Why do we need a silent final E in above? You're right, because of the V. English words do not end in V or U, therefore add an E. Now let's go back to here. How will we mark A above? We'll put a line over it, why? A, E, O, U usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. Now, what's going on here? We have an O saying uh, above. Hmm, why is that? That's right. 
O may say a uh, next to a W, T, H, M, N, or V. There it is again. They chose to use an O. And this A is being lazy. So let's read this together. A, B, A, V, above. All right, the next word is before. Before you go to bed, be sure to brush your teeth. Before. How many syllables in before? Hmm, hmm. Two. Very good. Let's sound it out. Uh, the first syllable is B, B, E. The second syllable is four. F, O, R, silent final E. Go ahead and write B, four. I like how you're sounding it out. Now it's my turn. The first syllable is B, B, E. The second syllable is four, F, O, R, silent final E. All right, how will we mark the first syllable? You're right, we'll put a line over the E. And why did it say it's long sound? A, E, O, U usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. And what do we got going here? We have an O saying it's long sound, and we have a silent final E. Why did the vowel say it's long sound? The vowel said it's long sound because of the E. The next word is afraid. Do you ever feel afraid? So do I. Afraid. Go ahead and say afraid. Do you maybe hear a lazy vowel? So do I. All right, how many syllables in afraid? Hmm, hmm, two. We will say to spell a afraid. Got it? A afraid. What's the first syllable? A. What's the second syllable? Fraid. F er a. This is two letter A that you may use at the end of English words. D. Go ahead and write a afraid. Very good. Now help me to write it. The first syllable is a. The second syllable is frayed. F er, a, d. How will we mark this? We'll put a line over the a. And why did the a say it's long sound? A, e, o, u usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. And we'll underline the a. Let's sound it out. A, f, er, a, d. Afraid, or we say afraid. Hmm. If you look at all these words, do you see any words that have something in common? Ah, I do too. This one starts in an A, and this one starts in an A, and this one starts in an A. And let's read each of those. A, B, out, about. Look at that. It said it's lazy sound. A, B, A, V, above. It said it's lazy sound again. A, f, er, a, d, afraid. And there it is again. It's really common when a word starts with just the sound a or just an a uh, that that is going to be a lazy sound right there. So just something to notice. Great work today. And I'm so glad you're starting to understand how English words work. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at foundations.logicofenglish.com.